in the red corner. Hailing all the way from the Kanto region, we have a basic colorless Pokemon weighing in at a whopping 150 hit points. Give it up for Snorlax. And in the blue corner, we have a Pokemon that needs no introduction. The heavyweight champion of the world. Make some noise for Waylord. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see which one of these two heavy hitters can carry their respective Gym Leader Challenge deck to a victory in some tabletop gameplay. Now if you're new to Gym Leader Challenge format, no sweat. It's a ton of fun and super easy to get into. All of the rules are available at gymleaderchallenge.com and the Pokemon Company International just published the rules to Gym Leader Challenge format in their recent alternate format handbook where they gave a special thanks to yours truly for popularizing the formats. There's just a couple of things to keep in mind when building a Gym Leader Challenge deck. First of all, it's a singleton format, so you can only play one of each card except basic energy in your deck. Next, it's a monotype format, so you have to pick your favorite type of Pokemon, whether it's water, grass, lightning, or fire, and then build your entire deck using only those type of Pokemon. And then finally, there are no rule box cards allowed in Gym Leader Challenge format. So no Pokemon V, V-Star, V-Max, or anything like that. In Gym Leader Challenge format, single prize Pokemon rule. And that's my favorite part. I'm really stoked to show off this gameplay, but before we get to the decks, let's head over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is the best place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We've got super fast shipping and top-notch grading. You really won't find better service anywhere than at FullGripGames.com. We've also got a buy list, so if you've got extra cards lying around your house, maybe crowding up your kitchen table, then you absolutely have to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop, and selling your extra cards to Full Grip Games directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Thank you so much for shopping at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's check out those decks. On my side of the table, I'm playing a colorless deck that features the new Snorlax from Lost Abyss with its incredibly powerful Thumping Snore attack. For three colorless energy, Thumping Snore does 180 damage, with the drawback being that Snorlax goes to sleep after using the attack, and you have to flip two heads instead of one in order for Snorlax to wake up. So this deck plays plenty of ways to switch Snorlax in and out of the active spot to make sure that you can keep using Thumping Snore throughout the game. If Snorlax gets knocked out, no problem. Ditto from the Pokemon Go set can copy Thumping Snore with its sudden transformation ability, which allows Ditto to use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in the discard pile. In order to power up Ditto and Snorlax, this deck plays Porygon Z from Unbroken Bonds with its crazy code ability that allows you to accelerate as many special energy from your hand to your Pokemon in play as you like during your turn. I really love the way this deck plays, and I'm excited to see how it holds up against Jesse's Waylord deck. The deck I'm going to be up against is Jesse's Water type deck that plays the new Waylord from Lost Abyss, which is really difficult to knock out. It's got 200 hit points and the oversized ability, which makes it take 30 less damage from the opponent's Pokemon's attacks. But that's not all. Its special waves attack can one-hit KO just about anything in the format. For three water and a colorless energy, it does 120 damage plus 120 more damage if it has any special energy attached to it. I've certainly got my work cut out for me, but I'm excited to see how this matchup plays out. Let me know in the comments below which deck you think is going to come out on top. Would you like heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is? Uh, I will go second. Okay. All right, good luck, Jesse. You too. Draw for turn. I've got a pretty good-looking opening hand, but I can't play any supporter cards since it is the first turn of the game going first, so I'll have to save those for next turn. I can play... This one copy of Draw Energy, though. So I'll attach Draw Energy to my Pidgey and draw a card. I will bench Porygon, and I'll pass to you. All right. 
Again, with the whale mer starts, not the greatest, but we do have an out to our turn one attack. Okay, I'll play Irida to search my deck for a water Pokemon and an item card. So I'm going to grab Floatstone and Hisuian Basculin. Attach Floatstone, bench Basculin, retreat to Basculin, attach a water to Whalemur, and then I will use Gather the Crew to get Snom and Sobble. That is a very good turn one from Jesse. Uh, he could theoretically get a turn two attack with Waylord. I'll draw for turn, and we get a nest ball off the top. I am probably just going to continue setting up. So I will play Ball Guy. I can get Quick Ball, Level Ball, and Hisui and Heavy Ball. I'll play Hisui and Heavy Ball. I will grab Badoof with Hisui and Heavy Ball, and then shuffle the Hisui and Heavy Ball back into my prizes. Bench Badoof. I'll play Level Ball. With the Level Ball, I am going to go get my Porygon 2 so that I can get my Porygon Z into play as quickly as possible. I will Nest Ball. And with the Nest Ball, I'm going for Snorlax, baby. And I'll attach my Twin Energy to Snorlax. And then finally, I'm going to Quick Ball away Bird Keeper and grab Minchino. Put it onto my bench. Cool. And with that... I will peck off for 10 damage. Ow. Draw for turn. I'll evolve to Suian Bascu Legion. I will immediately attach a water energy for turn to it. I will then evolve to Frost Moth. And then I will Shady Dealings for... I think I will just get a Professor's Letter. Just so I can start powering up my Whalemur, which will become a Whalord. So I will grab Professor's Letter. Play the Professor's Letter to grab two water energies. I'm going to Ice Dance, two water onto Whalemur, and then play N. Yep. All right, we both draw six. I will play Nest Ball to get Remoraid. I will put Pot Helmet onto Drizzile, and then we will use Water Shot for 70 damage for the knockout. Okay, Pidgey bites the dust. I'll promote Snorlax and draw for turn. This is a hilariously bad hand, considering how good my board is, but I'm chilling. I'll evolve into Porygon Z, which means that I can accelerate as many special energy into play as I would like. And then my only supporter is Guzma and Hala. Let's play Guzma and Hala. I will discard the Fighting Fury Belt and the Warp Energy. Off the Guzma and Hala, I'm going to get Floatstone, Beach, and Capture Energy. I'm going to attach Capture Energy to my Snorlax and go get Slack Off. I will attach my Floatstone to Snorlax. I will attach Counter Energy to my Slack Off with Crazy Code. I'll revive to get my Pidgey back into play. Retreat into the Pidge. Put Tropical Beach out, and then I will beach for six cards to end my turn. I'll draw for turn here. So let's Guzma Hala discarding Alolan Vulpix and Rare Candy. I already have both my tools, so I'm just going to Guzma Hala to grab Rough Seas and Splash Energy. And then I will attach Splash Energy for turn onto Whalmer. I think I will just end my turn by using Tropical Beach to draw three. Cool. I will draw for turn, and I am ready to party. We'll evolve into Bibarel, use Evolution Incense to search my deck for Chinchino, put it into my hand, and I'll evolve my Minchino into Chinchino. I'll use Crazy Code to accelerate Recycle Energy onto Pidgey. I'll use Make Do to discard Gloria, draw two cards. I'll play Parallel City. Mm. Goodbye, Primarade. I will retreat Pidgey. The Recycle Energy comes to my hand into Slackoth. And I will Versus Seeker for Bird Keeper. Switch into my Snorlax and draw three cards. I'll evolve Pidgey into Pidgeotto. And then use Air Mail to look at the top two cards of my deck. I get to put one of them into my hand. The other one on the bottom of the deck. I will use Crazy Code to accelerate Recycle Energy onto Slackoth. And it is finally time. My Snorlax will use the Heavy Snoring Attack for 180 damage and goes to sleep 
and the effect of the attack is that you have to flip two heads to wake up, and I got a Tails, and I'll take my prize. I will promote the Whalmer with all the energy, draw for turn. I will immediately play Rough Seas just to free up my bench, and then I will Shady Dealings. Let's get Rescue Stretcher and Evo Soda there. And then play Evo Soda to evolve my Whalmer to the big Whalord. And then I'm also going to play Rescue Stretcher to put Remoraid back on my bench. And I'm going to play Gloria to search my deck for three basic Pokemon. Staryu and Wishy Washy. And then we will go with the Special Waves for 240 damage. Oh, yeah. Snorlax is done. I'll promote Slack Off and draw for turn. Let's see what we got going on here. I got some options. We got some plays. First, I am going to make do to discard Evo Soda and draw two cards. I'll airmail and put that down. Keep this. I'm going to rescue stretcher for my Snorlax. Put it onto the bench. And I will use Crazy Code to accelerate double turbo energy to it. And I will retreat the Recycle Energy back to my hand. Crazy Code the Recycle Energy to my Snorlax. I will Rare Candy into my Slacking. I will attach U-Turn Board to my Chinchino. And then I will end. Set Jesse to just four cards. He does not have his Octillery up yet, and his Intellion is fully evolved, so I'm hoping that this can be relatively disruptive. I will Field Blower, the Rough Seas, and the Pot Helmet. I'll Crazy Code, Weakness Guard, Energy onto Slacking, and I'll use Industrious Incisors to draw two cards. Then I will use... Heavy Snoring for 160 damage with a damage reduction from double turbo energy. And I am very asleep. And damage reduction from this. Yeah, 130 total. Yep. Cool. Oh, you got the double heads. Nice. Yes. <laughs> not that it matters. but Probably I'll, not. No. <laughs> I'll draw for turn. I did get the Octillery off that end. I will go ahead and play a Suing Heavy Ball. There is no basic Pokemon there, though, so I will shuffle it up. And then I will play Evolution Incense. I'll grab nothing. And then I will Abyssal Hand for three cards. That monkey on your bench is very scary. So I'm definitely looking at possibly knocking that out. Retreat into Octillery and then play Guzma to bring up the Slay King. Yep. I'll just go ahead and use uh, Special Waves for 240 damage. Yeah. That is unfortunate for me, but we will try to carry on. Draw for turn. I am going to play Avery. Draw three. Um, I will discard Wishy Washy and Star You. Okay. So I'm doing 160, 130 is still enough. Thank God. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll retreat into Snorlax. And we will heavy snoring for 130 damage and take the prize. And then these go back to my hand. And then you do your flip for sleep. Yep. Sleep. Heads. Heads. That's what you were saving your heads for. There we are. Off timer vault. Yes. I will promote Intellion. Draw for turn. Bench Whalmer. And then I will also bench Squirtle. And then I will attach Capture Energy to Whalmer. Search the deck for a basic. I will just fail that. How many cards you got in hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It gets to the point with this deck where you just have your deck in your hand. Yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, there are three draw guys. <laughs> so Making me wonder if I should even Marnie or if I should just... Yeah, let's just go with a Colrus. Shuffle draw eight. Ice Dance, one onto Squirtle. And then pass to you. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to bench Ditto. Guzma up your whale mer. Got a feeling. And it's at the point where I just don't want to draw any more cards. So I'm not <laughs> going to. <laughs> I'm going to use special charge to put warp energy and twin energy back into my deck. I'll retreat 
Chinchino into my Snorlax. I'll use Heavy Snoring for 160 damage. Take the knockouts. And sleepy time. True. Uh, Tails. He is asleep. Okay, I will promote Squirtle, so now I have a pivot. Draw for turn. I will play Level Ball for a War Turtle. All right. This is going to come down to the wire, I think. My favorite types of GLC games. For sure. You never know who's going to win at this point. I don't think anybody could tell you for certain. All right. And I will play the Nessa. Yeah, I needed you to not have that this turn, I think. To get Whalmer in three waters. Yep. Bench Whalmer. Let me look at the deck again. Let me dive ball. I'll play the dive ball and get Whale Lord out. Yep. So let's Ice Dance two here. Okay. Retreat Squirtle. Evolve him into War Turtle. And then Aqua Bullet and do 20 to Porygon Z. I will see if I wake up. No. Draw for turn. And I will play Switch to switch into my Chinchino. And I'm kind of curious as to like what I have left in my deck. I have like a hand disruption card. I don't think so. I at this point the game is coming down to the wire though. I'll use airmail. No. Oh. Cool. Keep that. I'll make do discarding the Bridgets. And I'll retreat into Snorlax. And heavy snoring for 160 damage in the knockouts. Alright, I have just enough energy. I think I can get this guy powered up. So I'll promote Whalmer. Draw for turn. I will evolve to Whalord. Evolve to Blastoise. Attach for turn. Deluge. And then I will Abyssal Hand for two cards. I'll play Brooklet Hill. And then use Brooklet Hill. I will fail it. I will then play Teammates to go grab these two cards. Deluge onto Whalord. And then I will Special Wave for 240. All right, the Recycle Energy comes back to my hand. Jesse goes to two prizes. Snorlax hits the bin, and I'll promote Chinchino. I'll draw for turn, and I quite literally have my entire deck minus one card in <laughs> my hand. This is tough. I have to attack the whale. I'll crazy code that there, and I'll bench Kangaskhan. I'll... Crazy code that there. And then I'll retreat. And I will use Ditto's sudden transformation ability to copy heavy snoring to do 180 damage. And my Ditto goes to sleep. 150 after the reduction. Yep. Draw for turn. Yeah, we're really at the nitty gritty here. Oh, I should have got my first Seeker off that teammates. I grabbed Hex, thinking that for some reason you weren't going to attack with Ditto, but now you've played around the Hex. I should have just enough energy to win. I will play Marnie. Okay. This is where, like, Starmie is, like, not necessary to win the game, but it just makes it so, like, I don't run into these issues. Star not getting Starmie out means you're much more reliant on Nessa. I will Quick Ball. Fail. Okay. I will then... Abyssal hand for two cards and um, special waves for 240. This is really coming down to the wire. Oh my I gosh. will promote Chinchino. I have one route <laughs> my that I can do to win. I will draw for turn. Let's see what this route is. And it's going to start with Lana's fishing rod. I'm going to use Lana's fishing rod to put Snorlax and. My Fighting Fury Belt's back into the deck. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that. Right. And no then I shot. have to find it. You can't get it out. <laughs> well. <laughs> no way. We're gonna I try. was planning on having to go through Kangaskhan, not Snorlax. Oh, the Recycling Energy should be back in my hand, too. Oh, yeah. Thank true, you. true, true. Recycling Energy back to the hand. I'm actually going to use Winona. And Winona is just going to serve the purpose of getting me this Snorlax. And the Snorlax is going to be the hardest Pokemon for Jesse to knock out, especially if I can get that Fighting Fury Belt on it. I'm going to use Crazy Code to accelerate Recycle Energy and the Warp Energy onto my Snorlax. 
And then I'm going to use Industrious Incisors to draw three cards. I will use Make Do to discard Vigoroth and draw two cards. I'll attach the Fighting Fury Belts, attach Powerful Colorless Energy with Crazy Code, retreat into Snorlax, and use Heavy Snoring for 210 damage, minus 30, so 180 damage for the knockout. Oh, I need to sleep. Right. Yeah, sleepy time. See if I wake up. One. Dang. Sleepy boy. Let's promote uh, Frostmoth. Draw for turn. I just need to Versus Seeker for Nessa is what I need to grab. So I will grab Nessa. I will play Nessa to get Wishy Washy in three water. I will bench Wishy Washy, Deluge three energy to it, scoop up net, and Hydro Splash for 130. Wow. I mean, what a game. I'll flip. I do not wake up, but I do have that escape rope to push a new Pokemon into the active, retreat, and we heavy snoring for 190 damage. Oh, 210 man. damage in the game. Wow. Doesn't get any closer than yeah, that. Yeah, that was so close. One oh card gosh. left in deck. Uh, you had just barely any cards left any. in deck. Yeah, one card, actually. Wow. Yeah, that is. <laughs> but that's Gym Leader Challenge at its best, really. That is, really. right there. That like, right honestly. there. And I think the whole game... That was a really close game. Huge props to Jesse for a match well played. I think it showcased some of the best of what Gym Leader Challenge has to offer. If you want to learn more about Gym Leader Challenge format, make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com and join the Tricky Gym Discord, discord.gg slash tricky gym to join in on all of the Pokemon TCG discussions and fun we have there. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a busted day. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.